going everyone? It's me Whiplash Snake and let me just take you on a little walkthrough of my day yesterday. So I woke up as I do every morning and went to my computer and started editing the video that you watched yesterday. And as I was doing so I could not resist procrastinating a bit and well checking Twitter along the day every so often. And then I started to see little posts like this popping up and that really got me curious because a lot of people were talking bad about this and all I really saw was YouTube heroes. So of course I went right to YouTube to see what all the fuss was about and I was a immediately greeted with this little gem, followed directly by Philip DeFranco. And what I saw originally didn't make me mad at all. I thought that people were overreacting, and I thought that this was a good thing, because I thought that YouTube was finally doing something to better their website. However, about right here, I started to get a little bit suspicious, because when I think of points, I start to break everything down into what essentially becomes a game, which to me basically implied that whatever YouTube is doing here, they're trying to bring it across to people as some sort of game, or at least not something that's very serious. So what are these points for? And okay, first point, add captions or subtitles to videos. Now this here, yes, this is really good, this is really cool, and people should be rewarded for actually putting captions and subtitles on videos because one, it saves creators time, and two, it can help translate to other languages. Hell, we've even seen the amazing results of fan-made captions in Markiplier's banana video. When people do them right, they do them right. And hell yes, if people are making good contributions like that to the community, they definitely deserve to be rewarded, I'm not against that. However, in the next section of the video, things start to get a little bit iffy to say the least. Because now we're getting into reporting negative content, which, alright, people on YouTube already do this, it is a good thing of self-policing. Hell, if something's a blatant break of guidelines, hell, why not put it on there? Just report it and move on. However, now that people are going to be getting points for it, I feel like a lot more people are going to be reporting. Which brings into question abuse. And hell, we've seen this happen many different times in the past, of people just false reporting and false flagging stuff. But now that there's a reward for it, don't you think a few idiot children are going to start just going from video to video reporting it just to get a few points? Because I feel like that's going to happen. And then there's the sharing knowledge with others, which I mean, I'm not sure how we're going to be doing that. They mean just like in the comments, just like writing comments to people, or is it just going to be something in the YouTube hero section, because that's what I'm thinking it is. But that part again, really not that bad. And really we're just gonna fast forward through level 1 and 2 because everything there pretty much is all well and good and well, it's just another part of YouTube. Nothing bad there. Enter level 3, the area of most concern. Really, everything we've seen up to this point was all well and good. It was normal YouTube stuff, it was teaching people how to network better and also use YouTube more efficiently with uh, the use of workshops. However, level 3 brings in the use of something called super tools. Now, what are these super tools exactly? Here, I'll just let it play and I'll show you. Yeah, that's right, the first thing they show is mass flagging videos. So instead of going through an entire process of having to flag a video, all it takes now is a click of a button if you get to this level. And you can do it over and over. If you have a YouTuber that you particularly despise and just want to see them crash and burn, well, just work your way up to level 3 and start going to town on every single one of their uploads. I'm sure that you can find a curse word to report on the community guidelines in every single one of them. And then there's the help moderate the community content, which I just see turning into people deleting other people's comments because they feel like it. And then once again, the video was all well and good for the rest of it for the last two sections. Now if you're asking yourself, why is this thing an issue and why should we be concerned about it when most of the points are are pretty good, but just only one section is bad. And that is because literally anyone is going to be getting these super tools unlocked for them at only level 3. The requirements for that being only getting to 100 points. Now how do you get these points? Well, someone is able to accumulate these points by either one point at a time, accurately reporting videos, which as I covered before will lead to people mass reporting videos one after another, most likely for saying the words fuck, ass, or cunt in the middle of a video somewhere, or by actually being helpful and contributing a sentence that gets published as a subtitle. Doesn't matter the sentence, it's not nah, fuck it, as long as it gets on there, one point for you. And then there's the most easily abusable one where someone can just make several accounts and then vote up an answer, 
by uh, answering a user question on the YouTube help form with a comment selected best answer. See how easily this can get abused? All someone has to do is answer 10 different questions. They can go on with a ton of bot accounts, just rank it up and make sure that it gets best answer, and then suddenly, guess what? They are level three. What the actual fuck? Why the huge point differences? Seriously, someone that bots like that and is going to get themselves quickly to 100 points so that they are level three is not someone that deserves to have mass flag ability. Because do you know what those types of people are gonna do if they get that ability? That's right, a lot of your favorite content creators that have a lot of people that don't like them are going to mass flag their videos and likely get their channel taken down. Listen, I get that YouTube wants to start making features for their actual users instead of just for their creators. Because let's face it, every single change that happens on YouTube so far has been creator-centered. This is the first time we're really seeing anything directed towards the average user. However, they could have gone about it in a much better way because what they've done here is essentially turned the serious job of moderating into being a fucking game. Game, which is seriously not the way you want people to look at this, especially with how easy it is to manipulate yourself up to level 3. And this genuinely scares content creators because this isn't even something that we can control ourselves. This is a bunch of random people you don't know, could be a lover of yours, could be a hater of yours, and they can take down your entire channel. Now I myself am fortunate enough to have a good fan base behind me, although I still have to give you disclaimers every now and again on my YouTube reviews to not attack other people just in case, because I do know how rabid fan bases can become very quickly. And when they lash out after something, it's pretty bad. Now imagine if those people had the ability to flag your videos and take down your channel for community guidelines purposes. Now imagine Lethius here makes a negative video on someone. A bunch of his level 3 rabid fans see this video and immediately rush over to that person's channel. They then try to appease their leaf god by flagging and then once that channel has been shut down for whatever community guideline, they then return to their leaf god with the dead carcass of whatever channel he had made a video on and then proceed to ask their god Leafy if they had done good, and they wave the dead carcass of the channel he had made a video on in front of them like a cat with a dead lizard. Meanwhile, the creator of that video is left with their channel gone and all their hard work erased. What YouTube Heroes is, is a trivialization of such an important and very, very necessary position, which is known as a moderator. Now, myself having been a moderator for about two years now, I know that this position is not something that you are to take lightly. And more importantly, not everyone is cut out to be one. Which frankly, with the people that are on YouTube, a lot of them, which are going to be trying to get this level 3 position, they're not cut out for it. They are going to be the people trying to flag everybody. And even though this is community focused, you can already tell the backlash of people who know what this is going to turn into. I mean, seriously, look at that like to dislike ratio. That is definitely all just creators. It's people and content creators alike genuinely scared that their own or their favorite video creators videos are going to be attacked. YouTube, I know you want to make improvements for your community itself, but this is not the right way to do it. You're putting far too much power into the hands of people who may or may not deserve it. And honestly, you're scaring every single one of your creators because now they don't even have a choice. This is no longer up to the creator to censor themselves, but for the community to censor them for them. Be it a troll or someone who thinks there's something wrong. You're just adding more unpredictability into an environment that already is extremely unpredictable. So YouTube, for the sake of all of your creators, remove the level 3 tier and everything will be good. That being said guys, I hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, please hit that like button and if you really like it, hit that subscribe button I would love a new addition to the snake army if you noticed in this video yes we had new pose art and well I haven't switched up the end card one yet because I haven't had time to make a new end card but we'll we'll, we'll make it eventually don't worry but the poses used in this video were made by Pamped yes the same exact person who made the youtuber review in
intro, they are an amazing artist, and they actually did this all by themselves, which, that's an amazing thing. Thank you so much for doing that, Pamped. Seriously, go check them out. Link in the description. But other than that, make sure to check out yesterday's video, which is playing on screen right now. It was a YouTuber review of the lovable teddy bear known as Zaptai. Just go ahead and check that out. It was a pretty good one. Also, make sure to go check out Lord Bung. He just put out a new video today, and it is amazing. I cannot highly recommend him enough. And I will see you on the next video tomorrow with Lash out. Bye.